So today starts the KBF Spring Challenge. It's really hot. Uh, water is 64 degrees. That's I don't think it's just yet. But that's what it says. Uh, we are going to do this. I'm going to briefly explain how these videos are going to go. Three videos. There's going to be one for each day, and then there might be a recap video. If not, it'll be at the end of the third video. But when I catch a fish or not, they'll post it. I'm going to talk about what I did and everything. And there's a few people with like 95 inches already, so I'm willing to bet it's going to take close to close to over 90 probably or better to qualify but we're just gonna fish and hope for the best and just try and have fun doing this gonna throw a drop shot around to start um, water again is 65 degrees so I think fish should be biting today hopefully like I said it's really hot it's windy too but I think fish should be biting five big bites is all we're looking for this weekend so if we can do that, uh, you know, it'd be great. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I just went on the bridge. We're on our A bridge. And it's like the back of the creek right now. Uh, I'm just going to throw a worm around and hope for the best. The drop shot wasn't working. And I haven't gotten a bite on anything else. That's, I threw that and I threw a worm for a while. But I'm going to change up colors and try and see if I can find any on beds. There's one. All right, well, we're going to flip him in here. That wasn't really supposed to happen. Buddy, hey. Stop that. Hooked him good. He wasn't coming off. That's for sure. Jeez. Oh my God. There you go. Jeez. Is he even gonna go 12? Oh, there goes my glasses. Thanks, bud. Thanks for hitting those. Appreciate it. Oh, he'll go 12. He'll go 13 and a half. It's in my phone, it's in my pocket. Cool, first fish. First fish, 13 and a half. I need to upgrade, but it's a fish. Thanks, little guy. I appreciate your support. All right, now we need to find five twice that size, but it's a start. Caught on a little watermelon red trip worm. So. I mean, it's not at all what we want again, but it's a fish, so I'll take it for now. Currently in 23rd place, so not in the cut, nor am I going to be close to the cut by the end of this. So I'm just happy to get a fish today because I was, I was very concerned, to be honest, because this lake's been getting absolutely hammered lately with people because it's warm and everybody loves this lake it's pretty it's got fish in it so i figured it wasn't going to be great um you know for the one fact that i'm sure a lot of the big fish are on people's frying pans this time of year and i just figured you know it probably won't be the best but we can maybe get a fish in the boat get a few fish in the boat granted again that needs to be upgraded majorly. 
real quickly while I remembered, I meant to mention at the beginning of this video, the three videos for this the spring challenge are going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you're watching this one on Monday, then the next one will be Wednesday and a Friday. And then if I do a final recap, which it really just depends on, it depends on how long the Sunday or the day three video is. Because if it's long, then I'll, if it's long, then there will be a dedicated recap video. If it's not, then there'll it'll just be at the end of that video. So just stay tuned for that and we'll see what happens. Quick little update before I make a move. I couldn't find any more fish in the back of this creek. So I'm gonna go down the other creek and see if I can find one or two or something. I don't know. I've, I've yet to figure anything out really. I just got that one button, so we'll see. Okay, so really, really quickly, I wanna go over something. I'm currently editing this video and during this tournament, I caught a good majority of my fish on beds. And the thing about that was I didn't have the back camera on and I also wasn't wearing the chest mount, mostly because I just didn't wanna have to deal with two cameras and changing batteries and stuff and taking time to do it for this weekend because I was really focused on fishing. And also because if you kayak fish and you wear a life vest, the chest cam kind of slides up and I, I don't know how to fix that. I've tried, you know, making it tighter or whatever, but it's, it's just, I have too many issues with it and I just didn't want to deal with it. But the footage from the front GoPro is still there. Granted, I was standing when I caught these fish, so you don't really get to see much of the actual fish catch, but you do get to see me land the fish and everything. And that's how, sadly, a big majority of these videos for all three videos are gonna be. The thing is, is that most of my fish came off beds this entire weekend. So sadly, you're gonna be seeing a lot of this, but either way, you can still see me land the fish. You still get to see the fish and everything, but uh, I'm gonna try and work this out before my tournament this weekend because I obviously want to make sure. Granted, a lot of the fish that I did catch, I couldn't actually see them on the beds. I just saw the bed and I just saw my bait disappear. So you wouldn't have been able to really see anything anyways. I mean, granted, you would have got to see the bite of the fish, but uh, we're just going to have to roll with it how it is. And sorry for that. I will try and I'm going to try and work something out so I could do the bed fishing videos are a little bit better because there's going to be a lot more bed fishing coming up because it's just starting. So yeah, so either way, uh, enjoy the video. All right, so what just happened was I've been fishing this bedfish for like an hour and a half. I just hooked him. I didn't realize I even had it in his mouth. I didn't give him a good hook set at all. I just kind of, I was kind of just trying to pull the bait away and I didn't realize it was in his mouth. I hooked him. I don't think I actually hooked him, but um, got halfway up the boat and came off. I don't know how big it was. It's probably, a, it was a good fish to help, but um, I can't see the fish to know if it went back on its bed. I haven't been able to see the fish the whole time. I've just been seeing it hit my bait. So I'm going to try and fish it a little bit more and see if I can uh, catch it. But I don't have much more time left. I have. I really need to be heading back about now, but we'll see what happens. Got him this time. Flapping around. He's not near as big as I thought he was. Well, I got him this time. <laughs> I can't believe I just wasted an hour and a half on this fish. Kidding me, man. It's 13 and a half. 13 and a half inch bed fish.
No, don't you dare. Go back to your bed. I'll keep bleeding everywhere. For whatever reason this year. Also broke my stake out full, so that's great. Um, for whatever reason this year, that fishing for me takes two hookups. But uh, I gotta go. Because <laughs> it's almost sunset and your boys gotta be off the water, so we gotta go. We got like 20 minutes to get back to the lamp. <laughs> Um, but anyways, alright, let's do a quick recap of today. Uh, there's blood on my pan, my pants, everything now. There's my rods in the water. Oh my god, this is a mess. Alright, let's do a quick recap of today. So, ouch. So, quick recap. We caught two 13 and a half inch fish. We spent in... Let's see, we spent, it's 5.30, so we spent an hour and a half on that fish, which is a 13 and a half inch fish, if I have that fish by the end of it. Spent an hour and a half trying to catch that fish, we caught one other one on a trick worm. Otherwise, today was garbage, I have got to figure something out tomorrow, I don't even know where, I don't even know where I'm going yet tomorrow, because... Where I wanted to go, the wind's going to be whipping and I don't want to have to deal with it. So, I don't know where I'm going tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm not coming here. But I need to get back to the ramp. So, leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video of this little series. Hopefully, I can, uh, I can catch something tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see bait that I caught that fish, just caught that fish on. I posted a video of it on my Instagram. So, uh, yeah. So, today was fun. Should have been a lot better, but I gotta get back to the ramp now.